Hi, I'm Jade, and let me tell you, life ain't easy when you're hustling two jobs just to keep your head above water. Before I dive into this mess, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button, all right? Trust me, you're gonna wanna hear how this shit goes down. I'm 25, living in this concrete jungle they call a city, and my most prized possession. This beat-up Toyota that's probably older than me. But hey, it gets me from point A to point B, and in this rat race, that's all that matters. Jade, honey, can you pass the potato salad? That's my mom, the real MVP in my story. She raised me solo after my deadbeat dad decided fatherhood wasn't his style. I met this family BBQ, right? The kind where everyone's pretending they don't hate each other's guts. And then there's Uncle Frank, strutting around like he owns the place. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite niece. Uncle Frank's voice booms across the backyard. I roll my eyes so hard I swear I can see my brain. Hey, Uncle Frank, how's business? I ask, not that I give a damn. Booming, as always. You know, Jade, you could learn a thing or two about success from me. Sure. Success in being a pompous jerk, maybe. Then there's Brittany, my cousin, Frank's pride and joy. She's waving around this rock on her finger like it's the Hope Diamond or something. Jade, did you see my engagement ring? Derek proposed in Paris. It was so romantic. That's great, Brit. I'm happy for you. I lie through my teeth. As the day drags on, I'm counting the minutes until I can bolt. But then, Uncle Frank corners me by the grill, reeking of expensive cologne and bullshit. Jade, my girl, we need to talk about Brittany's wedding. I'm already getting a headache. What about it? It's going to be the event of the season. Bali, five-star resort, the works. But, you know, these things don't come cheap. Uh-huh, I mutter, searching for an escape route. We're expecting everyone to chip in, family duty and all that. I nearly choke. Chip in? Uncle Frank, I'm barely making rent. He waves his hand dismissively. Details, details. I've got it all figured out. That car of yours. It's seen better days, hasn't it? Why don't you sell it and contribute the money to Brittany's special day? For a second, I think I'm having a stroke. Sell my car? Are you out of your mind? I need it for work. Now, now, don't be selfish. After all we've done for you. I cut him off. All you've done? Uncle Frank, you've never done jack for me or my mom. His face turns an interesting shade of purple. Listen here, young lady. This family has always looked out for each other. It's time you pulled your weight. Sell the car. Contribute to the wedding. It's not a request. After that disaster of a BBQ, I knew I had to dig deeper into Uncle Frank's so-called success. Something smelled fishier than week-old sushi, and I was going to find out what. First stop? Aunt Mildred, Dad's sister. She's always had loose lips, especially after a few gin and tonics. Oh, honey, you wouldn't believe the stories I could tell you about Frank. She slurred over the phone. Remember that big promotion he got back in 08? Well, let's just say his boss's wife was very... appreciative of Frank's overtime work, if you catch my drift. Bingo. I had my first lead. I spent days glued to my laptop, digging through public records and social media. That's when I struck gold. A string of complaints against Uncle Frank's company for fraud. Bingo fucking bango. Time to call in the cavalry. I rang up my best friend Marcus. Yo, Jay, what's good? Marcus answered, probably neck deep in some coding project. Em, I need your tech wizardry. How'd you like to help me take down a grade-A douchebag? I could practically hear him grinning through the phone. Girl, you had me at takedown. What's the plan? We met up at our favorite dive bar, the Rusty Nail. Between rounds of cheap beer, I laid out everything I'd found. Holy shit, Jade. Your uncle's not just a dick, he's a criminal dick. We gotta nail this bastard to the wall. That's where you come in, tech boy. I need access to his computer, his phone, everything. Can you do it? Marcus cracked his knuckles. Can I do it? Does a bear shit in the woods? Give me 48 hours, and I'll have more dirt on Frank than a pig in a mud pit. Meanwhile, the Bali wedding drama was reaching soap opera levels. My phone buzzed with a text from Mom. Sweetheart, can you come over? I need to talk to you about something. I found Mom at the kitchen table, surrounded by brochures and a calculator. She looked like she'd aged 10 years overnight. What's up, Mom? You look stressed. It's this wedding, honey. Brittany's asking everyone to pay for their own flights and hotel rooms. I... I just don't know how I'm going to afford it. My blood boiled. Mom, you can't be serious. That's ridiculous. I know, but it's family. Frank says it's the least we can do for Brittany's special day. I bit my tongue to keep from exploding. Mom, listen to me. You don't owe them anything. 
If they can't afford their fancy-ass wedding, that's their problem. Just then, my phone pinged. It was Marcus. Jay, you're not going to believe what I found. I kissed mom on the cheek. Gotta run. Promise me you won't do anything crazy like take out a loan for this wedding, okay? She nodded, but I could see the worry in her eyes. It only fueled my determination. At Marcus's place, check this out, he said, pulling up a series of documents. Your uncle's been cooking the books at his company for years. Embezzlement, fraud, you name it. But that's not even the worst part. He clicked to another screen. He's been running a side hustle, scamming old folks out of their savings, promising them crazy returns on fake investments. I felt sick to my stomach. We've got him. Marcus grinned. Oh, we're just getting started. I've got a plan to set up hidden cameras in his office. And with a little social engineering... I can get access to his entire digital life. As we plotted, my phone buzzed again. This time, it was Brittany. Jade, darling, I hope you're excited about Bali. Listen, I had the most fabulous idea. Why don't you be one of my bridesmaids? Of course, you'll need to buy the dress. It's only $500, and you'll look absolutely divine. I muted the call, fighting the urge to throw my phone against the wall. Marcus, we need to move fast. These people are out of control. He nodded, his face serious. Don't worry, Jay. By the time we're done, Uncle Frank's gonna wish he never messed with you or your family. Looking at the evidence piling up on Marcus's screens, I felt a mix of anger and satisfaction. Uncle Frank thought he was untouchable, but he had no idea what was coming. The storm was brewing, and I was gonna rain all over his parade. All right, so it's the night of Brittany's big engagement bash, and I'm all dolled up, looking like I stepped off a magazine cover. But under this designer dress, I'm strapped with enough tech to make James Bond jealous. I roll up to this swanky hotel, and damn, Uncle Frank really went all out. Crystal chandeliers, champagne fountains, the works. I spot him glad-handing some suits, probably more suckers he's trying to scam. Jade, darling, you made it! Brittany squeals, air-kissing my cheeks. And you're wearing the bridesmaid dress. I knew you'd come around. I force a smile. Wouldn't miss it for the world, cuz. My phone buzzes. Everything set? All systems go, Jay. Operation Karma's a go. I make my way to the sound system, casually, like I'm just checking out the scene. That's when Uncle Frank grabs the mic. Friends, family, esteemed colleagues, we're here to celebrate love, but also family. Family is everything. I snort. Yeah, right. Family's everything when you're bleeding them dry. As he drones on, I slip the USB into the port. Showtime, asshole. Suddenly, Frank's voice booms through the speakers, but it ain't his speech. These old farts are like ATMs, I'm telling you. Just flash a fake prospectus, promise them the moon, and bam, they're forking over their life savings. The room goes dead silent. You could hear a pin drop. Then another clip plays. Who cares if the company goes under? By the time anyone figures it out, I'll be sipping margaritas in a country with no extradition treaty. Frank's face goes white as a sheet. He lunges for the sound system, but I'm quicker. What's wrong, Uncle Frank? Don't like hearing yourself? Gus busts through the door with two cops in tow. Francis Reeves? You're under arrest for fraud, embezzlement, and financial exploitation of the elderly. It's been a wild ride since Uncle Frank's perp walk at the engagement party. The family's been turned upside down. But honestly, it needed a good shakeup. I'm chilling at Mom's place, helping her sort through some bills when Aunt Karen bursts in. All drama queen style. Did you hear? They've seized everything. Frank's accounts, the house, even Brittany's wedding fund. Mom looks shocked. Everything? But what about Brittany? The wedding? I can't help but snort. Pretty sure Bali's off the table, unless she's cool with a beach made of concrete and barbed wire. Aunt Karen glares at me. This is all your fault, Jade. You've ruined everything. My fault? Frank's the one who decided to play Bernie Madoff with other people's money. I just expose the truth. Mom steps in, surprising me. Karen, that's enough. Frank did this to himself, and to all of us. Just then, my phone buzzes. It's Marcus. Yo, Jay, you're not gonna believe this. Frank's company is offering a reward for whistleblowers. You're looking at a fat chunk of change, girl. I'm floored. For real? How much we talking? Enough to make a serious dent in your student loans and then some. After I hang up, I break the news to Mom and Aunt Karen. Mom's eyes go wide. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. 
You deserve it after everything. Aunt Karen looks like she's sucking on a lemon. Well, I hope you're planning to share that money with the family. After all, we're all victims here. I laugh. You know what? You're right. I am going to share it. Mom, how about we pay off your mortgage? And I know Uncle Pete's been struggling since his layoff. Maybe we can help him out too. Aunt Karen's jaw drops. But, but what about Brittany and me? Sorry, Karen. Karma's a bitch, ain't it? Weeks pass, and things start settling into a new normal. I'm driving to my new job. Turns out exposing corporate fraud looks pretty good on a resume. Later that night, I get a text from Brittany. Hey, cuz, got a sec to talk? I'm curious, so I call her back. Jade? I... I just wanted to say I'm sorry. For everything. I had no idea what Dad was doing. And I was awful to you and Aunt Lisa. I'm silent for a moment, processing. Thanks, Britt. That means a lot. I'm working as a waitress now, she continues. Living in this tiny studio. It's... It's not what I'm used to. Welcome to the real world, cuz. It ain't always pretty, but it's honest. There's a pause. Then she asks, Do you think... Maybe we could get coffee sometime? Start over? I think about it. Part of me wants to tell her to kick rocks, but... Yeah, Britt. I think we can do that. As I hang up, I can't help but smile. Life's funny sometimes. You think you know how things are gonna go, then bam. Everything changes. The story's over. Now let's talk. If you were in Jade's shoes, would you have exposed Uncle Frank's crimes knowing it could tear your family apart? Or would you have kept quiet to maintain family peace? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We're dying to hear what you do in this situation. If you enjoyed this wild ride, smash that like button and subscribe for more juicy family drama stories. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next.